All right, so we're at uh, Snowmaking System Control, the control room, looking over some of the newer stuff we put in. Looking at the three monitors we got right here. This is the actual, what we call the gauge panel. This lets us know how many pumps are running, how many supply pumps are running. There's a few different um, temperature readings in here. Then we got our weather. We always try to stay as live as we can with the weather we got going on. Now this one's just got uh, three different cameras on it. Looking at all my pump houses, we're only running out of pump house A and B right now. Um, here in the next hour or so, we'll be going into our final pump house and getting all these lights green. Um, if you look over here, this is two different trail maps. The lower one is for some of our manual stuff. And then the big screen up top is for all our automation that we have put in over the last three years. <laughs> Another thing that I'm sure you can hear running in the background about this building is all of our air, all four air compressors we have are based out of this building right here. We have a total of 22,000 feet of air that come out of this building. This is the only air we have at the whole valley, but that's a lot of air considering the new technology guns use 130 CFM, 130 cubic feet per minute. Each one of these machines is putting out 5,500 cubic feet per minute. So that's where we come up with four of them, 22,000. When it's leaving these air compressors, it's leaving here at 170 to 180 degrees. And by the time it leaves the trail, this little display right here is showing you what the coolers are bringing the air down before it goes out to the snow gun. So we're dropping it from 180 to 46 degrees with our after air cooler. This is the after air. This is what's cooling my air, leaving the building at 180 degrees. When it leaves these big fans, it's at 45 degrees. All these banks, the fans you see, are what is cooling the air compressors internally. All they are is big fans blowing down through big car radiators to explain it. These big things up on the roof you see, that's where it's actually sucking the air into the air compressor. That's where the air is going into the air compressor. This is our pump house C. This is our newest pump house. This is the pump house that pulls water out of our reservoir at the top of the hill, which is Spruce Lake. And when I fill my lake, I actually flow through these pipes back to the lake to fill it up. And then right now, when we're running snowmaking, I'm actually pulling water out of the lake and pushing it out onto the hill. At the bottom of our main trail in front of the main lodge, we're running about 550 to 600 pounds of water pressure at all times when we're making snow. Okay, so now we're up at the lake, one of our water sources. This lake, when it's full, holds 67 million gallons of water. Right now, we are drawing out of it. But when it's warm out, we're putting water back in it constantly during the winter. Right now, shift change, we're, our crew's coming in. Kurt, the daytime crew boss, is explaining to me where we're running and what we're running. So my guys know uh, all about the pumps, the FSAs. Then when I get that information, I'm gonna assign my guys some sleds and give them the hills, and they're gonna go out there and fix all their mistakes. No. Yeah! I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so we're at the bottom of Idlewise, and with today's technology, I am able to fire the whole hill right from my smartphone here. Go to trail start. It's gonna ask me if I wanna do this. Stay up. Then as they start to fire, you'll see little white uh, flumes in front of these green dots. All right, right like that. And just like that, you can fire a whole hill Solo. Basically what we're looking for when we 
protect your clothes. You let a little fall on your jacket, scrunch it up. You're looking at the water content in the snow. You make a base, you want it to be clear on your arm. Lighter snow after we've made snow there for a while, you want better quality snow, you want a little bit lighter. It should be able to fall off your jacket. That way you know, you tell your guy at the hydrant, a little bit up, a little bit down, good, move on.